Hello and welcome to an extra episode of What's in the Night Sky to celebrate Look Up to the Sky Day, which is on April the 14th. The purpose of the day is to encourage as many of you as possible to take a moment in your day to stop and have a look at what the sky has to offer. I would like to show you one thing that you could try and spot on the 14th, and that is the phenomenon of Earthshine. You can see that I've already set my date to the 14th and I'm just going to take the sun down. So we're about quarter to nine in the evening now. You can see the stars are starting to pop out. We've got Orion over here, we've got the planet Mars up here. We've got Taurus, the bull starting to show and the Pleiades. And down here, we've got the moon, which is what we're interested in. If I zoom in, you can see that we've got a nice thin crescent moon on the 14th and we're just a couple of days after new moon the best time to look for earth shine is the days leading up to and the days after new moon and it tends to be brightest in the months from april to june so this is a perfect time for you to try and see earth shine if you've not seen it before earth shine occurs when sunlight reflects off the earth's surface and onto the night side of the moon causing it to glow and you can see that in my planetarium here we've got the bright crescent moon and the rest of the moon is illuminated by that glow of the earth shine sometimes the glow can be bright enough for you to make out some of the features on the moon that would otherwise be hidden in the lunar night such as the seas or the bright craters so you can have a look out for that have a go with your binoculars if you have them it's a wonderful target for photography. Um, Earthshine's even been photographed from the International Space Station. Poetically, Earthshine is often known as the old moon in the young moon's arms. And it's not just something that happens with planet Earth. When it happens with other planets and moons, it's known as planet shine. The Cassini mission to Saturn has observed planet shine from Saturn onto the rings and also ring shine from the rings back onto the cloud tops of the planet Saturn as well. So my challenge to you this month is to go out on the 14th, just after sunset, see if you can spot the earth shine. If you want to know more about what you can see in April, then you can have a look at my other What's in the Night Sky video for the month, which you can find on the National Space Centre's social media channels.